All right, we're very excited to be back. Uh, the new special, Hot Crust Buns, is streaming now on Netflix. It's Dave Attell, oh everybody. Goodness. Thank you for having me. I've been waiting on this. The great one. I've been here all week, actually across the street at the public storage. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I appreciate, I appreciate you <laughs> waiting outside for so long. Mm. Um, it's great to have you here, man. Thank yeah. you for coming in. And uh, both to you and, and uh, Two Bears is where it started. Uh, yeah. Right? Well, this was actually our flagship show. Really? This is the this show that you're on right now, we started in 2010. Wow. Yeah. Uh, with Christina, uh, Christina and I started doing it in an apartment in Burbank. And, really? Yeah, in 2010. So it's been almost 14 years we've been doing it. Well, I like how it's kind of half podcast, half art expo. You have a lot of different <laughs> antiquities in here. Yeah, there are. This is all shit we've collected mm. over the years, a bunch of nonsense. And then there's a bunch of cool guys in mm -hmm. the uh, framed paintings. Yeah, who uh, are they? Oh, they're legends. Oh, they're legends you? of oh. the show. Uh, let me see if I can give you an idea. I'd love to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like, uh, this is one of the most uh, famous cool guys here. Let's see. His, um, is this, I'm trying to figure his first one. You know what it's listed as? Is it RPC? Yeah. The first it says, one's called Move In. Move, with move In. Not okay, sure. yeah. Here you go. So this is like... Black guys who love to fuck and fuck good. Mm. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, man. Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. Men from jail, homeless, or... um. You're a thug. You want to come move in? A friend can move with you too, man. Free rent. You get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. I'm home now. You see me? You want to come over today and try it out? Try it out, man. So stuff like that. And who is he? He's that guy. Uh, his name is uh, Robert Paul Champagne. He lives in New York. You could visit him when you're home. I need a place to stay. <laughs> 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 but I think you really captured him in that oil. Yeah. yeah. I think you really did. Uh, 2395 Wagner Houses, apartment 2C, 124th and 1st Avenue, Spanish Harlem. Ah, I love it. Yeah. I'll Uber over. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, gets, it gets a whole, so we, we honor these guys who put out things like, you know. If you've had any kind of erectile disorder problems, I'm here to tell you, forget about Viagra, forget about salads, forget about dick and plants and all that stuff so i don't know if you believe me or not but if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small limp dick that doesn't get hard any other way i'm watching it harder and harder the more i smoke the harder my dick gets it's unbelievable wow yeah you know what i like about him he whispered because he's in a group home yeah, yeah. he doesn't want to break the rules that's right that's i right. mean he breaks the rules but he won't break the rules yeah right nice yeah, yeah i whisper. think uh, i think you did a great job thank you so how about you, buddy? You're on the road. I am on the road. Um, uh, I'm on tour now. I just announced some more dates. Um, I'm excited. It's been it's been super fun right now. I'm yeah, having, I'm having a really good time. You know, I always think I tour hard, but you really tour hard. I mean, this guy overseas. Yeah, we did a bunch of overseas. We started in he Asia this like year. That. Dave, wow. Do you like that? You go overseas. I can't leave the country because of my mom. She has dementia, oh, and uh, I'm always afraid to be like too far away to get there. Yeah. You know, let's say she finds the gun key. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I used to do overseas, but never like I, when I did comedy overseas, it wasn't cool yet. Mm. It wasn't like, I think now because of uh, Netflix and like yeah. the international, um, you know, just the way things are going that people get it better. Do you, do you think so? A thousand percent. Yeah. Yes. So they get it back then. It was like silence. And then at the end of applauding, like yeah. we yes. were in like a ballet or something. So yeah, it was yeah. really kind of creepy. There were a few shows like that. Um, obviously in like English as a second language countries. Yes. Cause you're like, Oh, okay. Cause you, you'd hit all the beats of your bit. Yeah. And then at the end there's a round of applause and you're like, yeah, they're not like, on top of it, yeah. you know, but that's usually a language thing, but you could like from, you live in New York, you could go do the UK and that wouldn't be too crazy that's far. That's leaving the country. Yeah. But you're six, it's a five hour flight or whatever. Uh, I don't, what do you have a Concord? <laughs> I, no, I don't think, I think it's a long, it's the whole thing is like, um, you know, going through customs, all yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff and then getting back. But yeah, I, I, I mean, I just stress over it. Um, I would say that my tour domestic yeah. is enough for me right now. And, um, do you do not, Canada? Uh, I have, of course, and yeah. uh, I love Canada. I mean, yeah. like Vancouver, I think I did a theater show there a couple of years ago. Probably one of the best theater shows. I mean, like the crowd was 
just popping. They were so yeah. good. And, you know, they're smart. They're fun. They get the joke. And, you know, my 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 uh, actual fan base, they're, they're really good joke people. Do you notice, like, the difference yeah. between a joke crowd and a podcast crowd? Like, basically, 100%. there seems to be, like, a little bit of a disconnect. I mean, they're all fans, but the joke people really, they dig the jokes. When we started doing um, this podcast and it started to get a following, we would do, like, a 200-seat a room. Uh-huh. And sometimes we would go, oh, we're going to do a stand-up show. Uh, and then we'll do like a podcast the next day, like a, a two night thing. And so, but it would be all podcast fans because we were advertising to yeah. them. And when you do stand up, they looked at you like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because mm -hmm. they felt the performance, which feels weird. It's like if you started to do stand up at like a, a family dinner and people, yeah. like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. They just wanted us to talk. Right. So if you have like a, a huge podcast audience, stand up feels weird. Yeah. They like the, um, uh, just conversation they yeah. like the connection that they have with you yes. they feel it's very personal and i totally think that's that's great it's yeah. just when you're doing your act it's sometimes there's like a disconnect of like what is this now? yeah yeah no but yeah but with the once the podcast audience sees your specials too then they learn like oh this is this kind of thing yeah. she's gonna do the thing like this then, i hear you yeah they're cool well you we're know cool. what hey we're in a good spot we're in a good yeah. spot man yeah. and i'm excited like where did you shoot hot cross buns I shot it at the uh, Cobbs in San Francisco, which is probably oh, one of my favorite. Awesome. You've been doing that. Club San Francisco, forever. yeah. Like it, it, San Francisco always has been a great comedy town. And yeah. It's always been like, you know, a lot of fun. And I think um, my audience really came to play that night. So yeah. if anything, they, they did better than they got. They gave more than they got. You know, like yeah. that's how I felt that like, you know, there were some technical problems. We did two shows for the shooting and, uh, you know, the director, just a great guy, uh, Scott Gallick. I mean, this guy, like, over and above, like, just putting the time into, like, the editing. And I wanted it to be more than just the stand-up, but I also wanted it to be short. Yeah. But evidently, you have to have it at 40 minutes in order for, like, it to rate with an algorithm. So oh. Oh. so that's something that we didn't know. And uh, So I thought you had it at, like, 37. Yeah, I had it at 37. And I was like, I think it's seven minutes too long. I want it shorter. And then we, we heard, like... Just recently, it's got to be at 40 if you really want people to, like, be able to see it. And, oh. and so I'm like, okay. And, you know, luckily Scott, like, jumped in there and, like, you know, did, like, emergency surgery on it. Wow, you know? wow, wow. I didn't so. know that. Ooh, hey, James, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have uh, one more click of fun around here? I don't know. Click here or here, here. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You can send it to your grandmother. You're not going to want to miss a moment of denim, okay? Try it out. <laughs>